Keep the change. Thanks. Have a nice night. Yeah, you have a nice night, too. Paulie, are you in here? You're not supposed to be playing that flute. Now give it to me, Paulie. Frankie, are you going to talk to Ralph today about that job in the purchasing office? I'm going to try. He's a pretty hard man to get to. Well, you better get to him soon. Be stuck in that mill for the rest of your life. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, darling. You're running late. Better hurry. Good morning, Daddy. Oh. 
Good morning, Daddy. Come on, you better eat. You missed the bus? I'm pretty hungry, B. Now, do I get to eat something here or what? Maybe I don't live here anymore. Come in right up, Frank. We have to get her off to school, you know. Well, if she were to get home in a decent hour, maybe she could get up in time so she wouldn't have to rush. You hear what I said, young lady? Yes, Daddy. I want you to look at me when I speak to you. Now, where the hell were you half the night? You were out with that Joey Baroff, huh? No. I don't want you to lie to me, Marion. Frank, leave her alone. All I want out of the young lady is a direct answer. That's all. I just gave you one. I wasn't with Joey. I was with Kathy over at the pizza house. If I ever catch you together, the both of you are going to be very sorry. Do you hear me? I've got to go. I'll be late. Frank, why do you do it to her? You know she's a good girl. Don't you start on me, B. That's for sure. Well, listen, if anybody asks, you and I were at the pizza house last night. I mean, if your father asks. What you and Joey do last night, anyhow? Well, nothing much. Most of we talk. <laughs> I bet. Well, at least I've got somebody to do it with. Are you going to see Joey tonight? Yeah, right after school. Hey, you want to come along? Huh. And sit and watch you two make out? No way. Oh, jeez. No, you're gross. Joey, you almost done that? You know that fuel barge closes at 5. Yeah, I'll go, Skipper. Okay, I'll be right back. It's Miller's time, you know. Okay. Hi, Skipper. Hi. Hi. Hey. Here, let me do your hair. Ready? Uh, wait. Okay. And... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, how about helping me clean up? Oh, no way. My mom will kill me if I get dirty. Ah, bullshit. You're just lazy. Here, just clean up my gear for me. Okay. Oh. I've got a letter from Portland today. Yeah? They want me there Saturday afternoon to take a test. What kind of test? No oh, aptitude. I want to see if I know how to spell my name. Oh, hey. Look, I'm really sorry about this weekend, Marion, but it's important. It's all right. You sure? Sure. Your old man's been on you again, huh? Well, I can't figure out why he hates you so much. Ah, oh, forget about it. Listen, I get this job in Portland, we can kiss them all goodbye. Well, I hope so. This place is starting to give me nightmares. Yeah, I know what you mean. No, Joey, I mean real nightmares. I had this one last night. I keep seeing the same lunatic killing people. They're so weird, so crazy-like. You're crazy. Don't say that. I was only kidding. Give me a kiss. Hey, Joey. You ready? All ready, Skipper. Here, let me help you down. Okay. Watch your step. Yep. Come on, darling. Uh, okay, whoa. Well, okay? Yeah. Did you play hooky today? That was last week. <laughs> Bye, Skipper. See you later, Joey. Bye. Good yeah. Let's go.
are you headed? San Francisco. You going in that direction? Going as far as Reading. Will that help? Sounds all right to me. Hey. Nice van you got here. Thanks. Hop in. I'll be with you in a sec. Listen, you mind if I grab a Coke first? Sure. Go right ahead. Howdy. Hi. How about coming down and help your mother set the table? Did you get a chance to talk to Ralph today? Oh, yeah. I had a chance to talk to Ralph. Ralph is trying to make up his mind. He says I would be more valuable to him running the saw than I would be doing paperwork. He's just trying to save that job for his nice, pretty nephew, that's all. Marion has not gone out with that Baroff kid tonight, is she? Why don't you leave that be? You still like Joey. He's a good kid. Yeah, he's a terrific kid. I mean, he's Come turned on. out just like his old man. He tries to get under every skirt in town. He's terrific. Tom Baroff has been dead for more than two years now. Why don't you leave it be? He tried to put the make on you, didn't he? If I hadn't caught him, he would have. Hi, honey. How are you doing? Feeling any better? Yeah. Thanks, Mom. Here, let me finish that. What's wrong with her? She fell and hurt her knee. I'm going to take her to the doctor tomorrow. Oh, yeah, sure. After all, we can't have her banged up if she's going to go out and visit her boyfriend now, can we? You're not planning on sneaking out tonight, are you, young lady? Well, at least he treats me nice, not like a cripple. Jesus Christ, here we go again. That's all I hear now. You two don't know when to let up. Do you think I did it on purpose? Well, it was your fault, wasn't it? I mean, if you hadn't been so drunk and run into that car, I wouldn't be a cripple now, would I? Don't you ever talk to me like that again, you understand? I'm your don't. father, you got no, no don't. right. Don't! You haven't heard the end of this, you hear me? You are your little punk boyfriend. Concussion, blood type O positive. That's rough to come by. Do we have a sufficient supply? Yes, doctor. In any case, do we have that donor's name and address on file? We do, doctor. The donor is a patient at the state mental hospital. Glad you're back. Oh, so am I. 
Hey, what's the matter? You look like you just seen a ghost. Kinda. What do you mean, kinda? Joey, why don't you go home and get some rest? I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, thanks, Skipper. Look. What is it? <laughs> this afternoon, I, I told you this place was giving me nightmares. And I don't think you heard me. Well, it is. I just had this other one just before you came in. Hey, everybody has bad dreams. But, Joey, not like these. I keep seeing some lunatic killing people. I'm scared. Look, look, all these dreams mean is that you're going through a bad time right now. I understand. Believe me. Does that also mean that I can see things that aren't even there? What do you mean? Today, on my way home, I heard and I saw this van that almost ran me down. And I jumped out of the way, and when I looked back up, there was nothing. It vanished like it never was there. And I said, just nerves, or am I losing my mind? No, you're not losing your mind. You're, you're just under a lot of stress right now. Your mind's just playing some tricks on you, that's all. So, everything's going to be all right, just as soon as I can get that job. Promise? Everything's going to be all right. You'll see. Even you said I was crazy. Maybe I am. Come on, Marion. I see things that aren't there. I dream about people I don't even know, and I keep hearing this weird flute. I told you, it's just your nerves. Now stop thinking about it. Everything is going to be all right. I told you my daddy made this for me just before he died. Didn't have enough time to teach me anything else. Well, maybe you ought to get yourself another teacher. Or throw that goddamn thing out the window. You're just like all the rest. They tried to take it away from me, too. But I got it back. Davis. Well, Marion, looks 
looks like that last operation did the trick. Then she's all right. Well, enough to take that brace off, anyway. You mean it? No more brace? Uh, well, I wouldn't want you to sign up for any cross-country marathons, but yes, you can leave the brace off. Oh, I knew it was better. I just knew it. Yes, it is better, but I want you to use this cane for a while, just for a while, until that leg gets a little stronger on its own. Okay, thanks, Doctor. Thanks for everything, Lou. That's all right, B. You're welcome. You just remember, young lady, I want you to take it easy for a while. Oh, I will. I promise. Don't no worry, honey. It's going to be all right. Okay. B, you better send Frank in for a physical. It's been a long time. Mm, that'll be quite a trick. Coffee, Betty. Very strong, very black. Right away. All right, what is it, Wilkins? It better be important because I got the biggest head in history. I got a hangover that would make King Kong climb a wall. Sorry, Sheriff, nothing dramatic. Oh, great. Oh, well, Mrs. Evans over on Holly and Third called in about two dogs fornicating on the front lawn and tearing up the flower bed. Oh, what does she want us to do? Dump a bucket of water on him? Call uh, Renfrew over the Humane Society. Get a report on the wire about some young kid who stole a family van and took off. Well, leave that to the highway patrol. Anything really important? Yeah, what do you want me to do about those two guys who brought in last night for drunk and disorderly? <laughs> you know, I forgot about them. Man, that was some fight. Well, I tell you what. Wait till 4 o'clock and then train them loose. Ah, thanks, Billy. Anything else? Yeah, just this little item. Some guy killed one of the orderlies and escaped from the county hospital. You mean the loony bin? That's in Corvallis County, right? Out of our jurisdiction, right? Now, out. Out. The two of you, out. I want two hours of peace and quiet. And I don't want to be disturbed unless World War III breaks out on Main Street. I guess I can get you there. Hop in. Okay. Oh, boy, I thought I'd never get a ride. How far are you going? San Francisco. Great, I love that city. Yeah, me too. I've only been there once, though. This is a super van. Thanks. You've got an eight track. You mind if I play something? Go right ahead. Don't touch that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything. I'm sorry, it's, it's just that my daddy made this for me and... It's really very delicate. and going to Marge Campbell's party? Uh, it's tomorrow night, isn't it? Yeah, you coming? No, I can't. I gotta go fishing. I'm not gonna get back till Friday afternoon, and then I have to leave for Portland early Saturday morning. Well, good luck in the big city anyway. Yeah, thanks a lot. See you. Too bad you can't be there. It's gonna be a really great party. Well, why don't you go with Kathy? Sure, and you could help me find a date. Well, you know my father's not going to go to a party on a school night. Shit, there goes another party without a date. Tell me where the closest motel is. Sure, it's right up the road, about a mile. Thanks. Mayor, I'm so glad you are dumping that stupid brace. 
boy, Kathy, the way you sound, you'd think you were wearing it. Practically, I mean, I gotta follow you around, I gotta carry your books, mm -hmm. I gotta open the doors for you all the time. Oh, yeah, but who does your homework? Oh, we both do. <laughs> <laughs> Madame. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. Kathy, we're taking you home. Okay, okay, I know what I'm not wanted. Why don't you ask your dad if you can go to the party with Kathy? I think it'd be fun for you. No, I can't, Joey. Not just because you won't be there, but I don't want to get into another fight with my father. Yeah, I know what you mean. I wish you'd try. You gonna be able to see me out tomorrow? Oh, I'll get there somehow. Want to go to Parker Flats? <laughs> it's a little late. My dad will be home soon. I better not. As a matter of fact, I better get it. Mm. 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 Well, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Bye.
Just as you promised. That was just the first surprise. What do you mean? I have something for you. What? If you want a surprise, you gotta close your eyes. Come <laughs> on. Come on, close them. Now, don't open them until I tell you, okay? Okay. Now, don't open them. I won't. Put it on. Let me see how it looks. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. Thanks. We spend a few days in San Francisco. We could take a drive down to Carmel. Spend one or two nights there. You'll love it. Oh, I don't think I can, really. My mom and dad actually expected me home earlier today. Then we could drive to the Hearst Castle. Oh, that'd be fun. I've never seen that place before. I don't think you heard me. I can't go. If you'll stop playing that damn thing for two minutes and just listen to me. Look, I like you. You're a nice guy. But I just can't. Don't you like my music? Nothing personal. But not as much as you do. I have a small farm just outside of town. Their daughter was up north visiting a friend who was due back yesterday. Well, maybe she stayed overnight with a friend. No, they called. Her friend said she left the day before yesterday. Was she driving? No. Nope. Hitchhiking. Damn. These kids will never learn. All right, I'll talk to them. Call the state police and alert them. I'll be on the lookout for her. Oh, uh, let me see the picture. Well, why don't you go out with Kathy tonight? Get your mind off all this stuff. Oh, maybe, but they're not just dreams, Joey. Maybe I'll take a walk and think things out. I gotta go. See you. Okay. Hi, right, Joey. Hey, Skipper. Ready? We're all set. Let's shove off. All right, man. Give me hand. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Hey, my hat. Whoop. <laughs>
Jesus, Mary. What's wrong? Oh, God, Norman, I'm glad to see you. What happened? I know this is going to sound crazy, but I saw this man burying a body. When he saw me, he started chasing me. Where? At the beach. He has a black van. He's parked by the picnic tables. Why don't you guys go take a look, and we'll meet you at the car. Sure. Come on, we'll take you home. Oh, God, thanks, Norman. Mary, you okay? I mean, Kathy said you've been acting kind of strange lately. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll more. I've just been having a lot of problems at home, that's all. We couldn't find anything. Nothing but the picnic tables. Maybe you just thought you saw something. <laughs> Will you please just take me home now? Sure, let's go. thinking you got a real nice town here and I was thinking about maybe moving up get the wife and the kids and uh, I don't know I think they'd love it I haven't seen much of the place yet but I'm really concerned about the high school you got a good high school here there's only one in town never heard any complaints about it can you, uh, can you tell me where it is I mean I thought I'd drop by tomorrow and you know talk to the principal over here in Palmer and six about a half mile up Thanks. Right, thank you. Hey, Johnny, check the oil, will you? Be right with you, Sheriff. Yours? Yeah. Nice fan. Yeah, thanks. Been hunting? Um, no, I've been camping mostly. What do you do? Pitch a tent or use a van? Uh, it's a lot warmer in there. I'll bet. You know, I've been thinking of getting one of these myself. Is there room for two in there? It gets kind of cozy. You mind if I take a look? I think that's a good idea, Sheriff. I got a lot of crap in there. It's filthy, you know. I think a lot of things will just... Sounds like home. Don't worry about it. Okay. I can't hide anywhere. See you later. Everything okay? Everything's fine, Sheriff.
Gibbons here. What's up, Wilkins? Well, if you're coming back to the station soon, can uh, you pick me up a cheeseburger rare with uh, lettuce, tomatoes, and onions? I'm starved. <laughs> After I do some stuff for my mom, let's go over to the pizza house, okay? Mayor? Mayor, you haven't heard a single word I've said. What's wrong? Nothing. Oh, damn it, you've been living in another world all day. You and Joey have a fight? No, no, it's nothing like that. I just got a lot on my mind, that's all. Are you pregnant? Kathy! Well, are you? No! Are you and Joey really going to run away together? Yeah, if this job in Portland works out. But your parents will send the cops to bring you back. We'll worry about that when it happens. <sighs> Did you hear something? Hear what? Oh, nothing. Never mind. And you were really weird. You think someone was following you or something. <laughs> My mom will kill me. Oh, please stay just a little bit longer. Joy should be in any minute. <sighs> Are you folks going to that PTA meeting tonight? Yeah, as far as I know. <sighs> hey, look, there he is. Oh, good. Okay, I gotta go. Oh, listen, hey, thanks for staying with me. Okay, and uh, are you gonna be all right? Um, you've been acting a little strange lately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, one of these days I'll explain. <sighs> See you later. Okay, bye. What's the matter? I saw something yesterday, and this time it was no dream. What are you talking about? That man I told you I dreamt about, I saw him. I mean, I really saw him. He was bearing a body. I know it was a body. Where? Just above Beck's Beach. Joey, I saw him, and he saw me, and he started to chase... You don't believe me either. I... But I know what I saw yesterday. Did you call the sheriff? The sheriff? My own folks won't believe me. Why should he? Mayor. Don't you think that this whole thing could be in your imagination? That man is following me. I know he is. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation for it. Yeah, there is. There's this crazy man out Mayor, there. Mayor, will you slow down? No, you don't believe me either. You're just like my folks. What do you want me to do about it? Come to Beck's beach with me right now, and I'll prove it to you. Right now? I haven't slept in almost two days. Joey, if you really want to help me, we'll go right now. This is the spot. The van was parked right over here, and the man was right over there digging a hole. Are you sure? 
I'm positive. I know this is the spot. Here. Here, let me do it. Look, Marion, if we don't find anything, you promise you forget about all this stuff for a while? Yeah, I promise. Oh, come on, please keep digging. Nothing but garbage. But that's impossible. There was hair sticking out of this bed. I know there was. Joey, I didn't dream this up. This one really happened. I was here. I saw it. I'm not saying you didn't see someone here. I'm not saying you didn't see a van here. But Marion, you can look for yourself. There's no body here. Joey, there was! There was a van here, and there was a man here, and there was a body here, right there! Marianne, wait a no, Joey, someone has to believe me. I'm not crazy. I know what I saw. I'm not crazy. I'm not! Sheriff, Wilkins just radioed in. He's got a 1265 in the alley between day and seven. What's up? so real. Yeah, I know, but try not to think about it. Remember, you promised. Mm, that helps. Joey, I love you. I love you too very much. You know, my father will come after us. I know. But he's going to have to find us first. <laughs> I hate to be the party pooper, but I'm beat. And I have to get up early in the morning and leave. Okay. Call me when you get there. I wish I could take you with me now. <laughs> So do I. <laughs> promise you'll call. I promise you.
had a good time tonight, didn't you? Daddy! I saw you and that punk making it in his car, didn't I? What did I tell you? If I ever caught the two of you, you know what I... Frank! Don't! Ma, oh, shut up and stay out of this. I will not stay out of this. There's no reason on earth for you to be doing what you're doing. You want a reason how the little bastard was taking her clothes off? That's not true. Nothing happened. I swear it. I'm telling you, I saw you. You couldn't have seen anything. I saw you. Frank! We have that PTA meeting. We should be going. Screw the PTA meeting. I'm staying right here in this house. Because that kid, he had a taste. He's going to be coming back tonight for more. What do you mean by that? I mean that I know kids. And if we leave this house, that panting boyfriend of yours, he's going to be back in here just like a shot. Well, that's not true either. Now, B, you go to the PTA meeting. And you, young lady, you get up to your room, you stay there. Because I am staying right here. Mom, Joey's not coming over here tonight, I promise. All right, dear. Go on upstairs, and I'll see you when I get back. I won't be late. Well, you better be gone. You will be late. Frank, she's your only daughter. Your only child. Can't you see what you're doing to her? Do you have any love left in you at all? I'd like to talk to you. Marion, can you hear me in there? I said I'd like to talk to you.
Marion! Damn it! What are you doing down here? You should be up in your room, will you? <laughs> <laughs> they think you're crazy. That wasn't very 
nice Marion.
Doc's upstairs with Mrs. Helzer. He just gave her a shot. He said he'd be right down. Any sign of the girl yet? Not yet. And thank God we didn't find her here. Christ, look at this place, will you? Frank must have put up one hell of a fight. Yeah, judging by the way it was hacked to pieces, it's got to be the same guy that killed that Collins kid. Mike, I want this little dick, and I want him now. <laughs>
Sheriff, they found the girl. Alive? Yes, sir. Thank God. Killed all those people, but I killed them. Who, Marion? Who did you kill? That man I dreamt about. I saw him kill those people. And he killed my daddy. He started chasing me. I had to do it. Where did you pick her up? She was all by the sawmill, wandering around. Marion. I want you to tell me exactly what happened. You got the girl to the doctor? Yeah, it's all taken care of. The doctor's still at the house with me. Do you believe all this? Sheriff, I went over to the house and saw the, saw the place. It looks like a slaughterhouse. All we know is that the house of girl is all right. Now, if you guys bother, I'll have you stop and yell to disturb the peace. Well, well, yeah, hold it, will you? I've got work to do. And as soon as I find out anything, I'll let you know. Now, back off. Let me go to work. Let's go. <laughs> Right about the forklift. Yeah, she sure was. Sheriff, we got him. Can you get him up here on the dock? Sure, right away. My God, that's Bill the Night Watchman. Where are you going? Portland. Well, hop in. That's where I'm going. Thanks. It's really kind of you. give that information out over the phone. You'll have to speak to your own doctor. I'm sorry. Thank you. Goodbye. Carla. Carla, that Hauser kid's flipping out up there. Do you know where Dr. Monty is? Uh, yes, I believe he's on the third floor. Do me a favor. Get him down here right away. I've got to speak to him. Yes, certainly, right away. Yes, this is station two. Could you please page Dr. Monty? We have an emergency down here. It's the Hauser girl. I believe she's in room, uh, uh, 205. Thank you. Bye-bye. Station three. Oh, hi, John. No, I don't get off for two more hours. 